kind of wanted to bring you in on the end game and what we're trying to do. I've been on the phone with some folks from the White House today and some other conservatives in the Senate trying to, to create a strategy to get us through the end of the year because everything we've been working on all year is, is coming to a head right now as we try to get out before Christmas. And the two choices are is to allow the Democrats to hold the troop funding hostage in order to get through this big omnibus with well over 10,000 earmarks in it. The, the choice is, is to get the troop funding separately and to get a long-term continuing resolution that would fund the government at last year's level. The benefit of this is that last year we were able to stop the omnibus and get a continuing resolution, which meant that the government is operating on Republican priorities. Uh, that we didn't change social policies, we didn't fund new Democrat uh, programs last year, and if we had another continuing resolution this year, we would in effect go into our second year of not shifting a lot of this funding towards Democrat priorities. Uh, but the worst part of the bills are just the, the earmarks. And if you want to know the corrupting influence of earmarks, just watch the end game as we try to get out of here, because you'll see um, good members of the Senate who feel like they have to vote for whatever omnibus is put on the table because they have earmarks in it. It doesn't matter what the figure is. I guarantee you if you put the bill on the floor that was $20 billion above the President or 30 or $40 billion, uh, that it would get 51 votes. Um, and we've got to stop it. And so what we have to do is communicate through a lot of you that what's at stake here is really the, the integrity of the democratic process in Congress. We cannot allow our troops and our war effort to be held hostage to wasteful spending, uh, thousands of earmarks uh, that, that really takes the federal government down to the level of a local government fighting about parochial interests. We've already spent most of the year deciding which water and sewer projects were going to be built in America. We didn't talk about Social Security and how to fix it, uh, tax reform. We didn't talk about health care and uh, how, how we need to fix that. It, it, it's certainly not to, to the degree that we need to. And so this end game is about what it means, not just to be a Republican or a conservative, but what America and our system of federal government is all about. We cannot allow this omnibus to go through.